I thank the member for Fisher and I call the honourable member for Cairo. Cairo. Thank you, Mr Deputy Sorry. Speaker. Communities with strong bike infrastructure are communities that are prepared to address the difficult transport issues of today while meeting the important challenges of tomorrow. In my electorate of Cairo, there is an increasing need to make Geelong a more bike-friendly city so that commuters have the opportunity to choose cycling with the knowledge that they can safely travel from one place to the next. And this need was precisely what the previous Labor government was working to meet, having committed over a million dollars to the Barwon to Bay Cycleway, a 2.4 kilometre two-lane separated bike lane between the Geelong CBD and the Barwon River. This was funding provided under RDA Round 5 after this project was selected on its merits through a competitive process. This is funding that formed part of this year's budget, which went through the parliament. Now, there are reports today that the Abbott government will now cut this funding and therefore cut this project. Once again, the Liberals come to the electorate of Corio promising nothing but ripping money out. These paths would save lives and prevent injuries. Tony Abbott is now stopping these paths from being built. In June, I spoke about the disturbing reality of cyclist fatalities in Geelong, which was brought to my attention after a meeting with Mr Barton Van Laar, the president of Bike Safe Geelong. The need to recognise that Geelong is far from a bicycle-friendly city in order to really tackle this issue remains prevalent. Since 2009, 20 per cent of Victoria's 30 bicycle fatalities have occurred in Geelong. Not only are members of our community losing their lives as a result of these tragic bicycle accidents, but in the last financial year alone, hospital admissions related to cycling accidents in Geelong have increased by 30 per cent. Without the proper investment in cycling infrastructure, these tragedies will continue. The Geelong community and other regional communities all over Australia are therefore uh, bitterly disappointed that the federal government has taken the step to cut round five of the RDA grants. Effective bike infrastructure is not only about addressing safety issues, but stands as an integral part of meeting the increasing transport challenges of our community. At the last census, less than 2 per cent of Victorians travelled to work by bike. This is a strong indicator that we need to give commuters of Geelong the genuine opportunity to cycle instead of drive. Bike infrastructure such as, such as the Barn to Cycle Bay, Barn to Bay Cycleway will provide people with the assurance they can travel safely and in turn incentivise cycling as a real transport alternative. This supports the health and fitness of those who take up cycling, eases traffic con congestion, car parking costs and importantly contributes to a more sustainable transport system by reducing transport emissions. So this is what the Barwon to Bay Cycleway would have meant for Geelong. It would have meant saving lives, preventing tra tragic accidents and taking on now increasing transport challenges to support cycling as a real alternative for commuters and increasing the revitalisation of Geelong's CBD and surrounding areas. Tony Abbott is now stopping this from happening. Order, I call